What's up? How are you guys this week? Another Monday of me losing my absolute goddamn mind down in this warehouse. And uh, hey, I'm, you know, keeping the creative juices flowing. It's keeping me motivated. So we do have a few fairly exciting announcements this week. But first, to get started, something I've never done, I like to read a few very kind reviews some of my lovely followers have left me. The first one is for some roast beef. You can't eat just one. Without a doubt, this is the absolute best roast beef I've ever had. It comes in convenient 8 ounce packages and is sliced nice and thin. I don't use it to make sandwiches. I like to warm it, the slices briefly in a stovetop pan for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then I spread on some mustard and enjoy it, slice by delectable slice. It's so succulent and practically melts in your mouth. I do, however, have a problem with it. Once I start eating, it I can't stop. Before I know it, I've devoured the entire package. Another great product from Frankie. I hope he keeps it on his website for a long time. Next review is for our chicken soup. Flavor really shines through. Frank, this product has such a bold flavor. You said you cook this twice over and I don't doubt it based on the taste. Delicious product you got here. So thank you guys, very, very kind, very sweet. I do try to look at all the reviews and all the feedback you guys give me and, and these two kind of stuck out over the past two weeks. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I do have a replacement cameraman, AKA a $20 tripod from Amazon, which is much more affordable and reliable. And before we uh, travel into the depths of this godforsaken warehouse, a lot of you guys ask me about the, the Wi-Fi and EMF levels of my protective clothing and I brought down uh, an EMF meter today, safe and sound. You know, the levels in this warehouse are actually not that bad. This is on, I mean, it's so loud in this warehouse, I can't even hear it. But right now it's on high, moderate. When, oh, okay, you guys can see this. When the EMF meter is in my shirt, it's green, which means it's very low. And if I completely close the shirt, it, 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 you can't see that now, but it, it turns flashing green, which means there's virtually no levels of Wi-Fi EMF radiation. Again, this is a safe and sound classic EMF meter. It's one of the more affordable radio frequency meters. It doesn't tell you like what the levels are, how high they are. It basically tells you, is the environment safe or not? And obviously, when you're wearing the protective clothing, your organs are protected. I will say, if it's very high radiation like a city or you have your cell phone right next to you, you probably want to wear two layers, which is why I always have on, you know, the Wi-Fi radiation tank top. And then I have, you know, the full set of the joggers and the pants. So that's going to ensure that like 99% of the radiation is reduced. If you just wear one, I would say it's, you know, between 80 and 90% reduction. So there's definitely a point of diminishing returns, but again, city, high radiation environment, if you're near your router all the time, all that type of stuff, you might wanna wear two layers, but you guys have been asking me for proof over the past uh, few weeks, so I figured I would just test it again for you guys. So I woke up from my water key for coma this morning to arrive down around noon, and my guys have basically finished the majority of the meat orders this week. I got one of my guys doing all the Frankie syringe foods orders. I did all of the uh, Wi-Fi shielding and organ supplements orders. So everything guys should be out by Tuesday of this week if you have been waiting for an order. We do have a few restocks on the meat website which I will go over in a little bit. But the main exciting things for me this week guys are we're gonna have the apple macadamia nut bars officially available for sale. And I think I said it last week, it was like a bit of a mess we had to buy dehydrated apples, rehydrate them, grind them up, dehydrate them again. So we should have that this week, but uh, I think that'll change slightly in the near future. So definitely keep an eye out for those on frankeasterrangefoods.com, which we also restocked the collagen broth. But the main thing I'm incredibly happy about is we're gonna have the Iberico ground pork available in one pound portions later this week. And you know, there are a few companies <coughs> <laughs> that are selling corn and soy fed pork which is just iberico breed as you know official spanish iberico which is complete nonsense so if you do want legitimate iberico pork at a reasonable price we're going to have the one pound grind available 
And we also are going to do, instead of the ribeye stew meat, we'll have a New York strip and ribeye, some like ground steak. And maybe we'll also do some uh, regular, this, ta this tape gun is so fucking loud, it drives me crazy. And then since the ground meat sales have kind of lowered since we stopped getting them from the, the local farm, I think we're going to do our own ground chuck blend as the like official 80-20 ground beef we're going to sell. So uh, a few creative ideas that I came up with this weekend that I'm pretty happy about. And uh, you know, hopefully, you know, if I keep this, I mean, fuck it. I've been being, I've been creative for the past three fucking years and I'm still broke. So I guess it doesn't really fucking matter. So uh, you guys have been asking about the whey protein powder, which should be back within a few weeks. You guys have also been asking for a legal update and all that nonsense. But first, let's just hop in the freezer and cool my brain off before I say too many uh, derogatory things. Our most affordable cut of meat, the sirloin filet, four ounces, is back in stock. Very nicely small portion, perfect if you know, you're know you not a carnivore and you eat a normal amount of meat per meal. So if you guys are missing anything that was out of stock last week, uh, we did get a few things back in, some lamb kidneys and organs. For the most part, everything is back in stock. If you guys were emailing me about stuff last week, just uh, check the website, it should be back. One new product we got, which technically isn't new, but uh, we got a deal on these organic eight ounce New York strip steaks. So if you guys want something that's a little smaller portion compared to our you know, one pound really thick cut strip steaks, we have quite a bit of those. I don't know guys, I drank way too much water kefir this morning. I have no fucking clue what I was supposed to show you guys. I guess I really haven't mentioned the meat granola in a few weeks, which is a product we used to have back when we started. Hopefully we have enough time this week because we can definitely make it, but maybe not, maybe. We do have all of the cheeses back in stock. Gruyere, Gouda, Fontina, Cheddar, Emmentaler, Parmesan, Asiago, Pecorino, blue cheese, Manchego. We got about 10 different raw cheeses that you guys would love. We have the collagen broth back in stock. Freshly made yesterday. Some chicken soup is still available. That's what the guy was talking about. Amazing flavor. And we got quite a bit of steaks for my guys to cut. So we'll jump downstairs and take a look at organ supplements as well as Wi-Fi shielding and Frankie's Naturals for you guys. I showed you guys last week we have a few new mineral products on organ supplements. Boron, molybdenum, as well as manganese. And previously we had these in one supplement altogether, the trace mineral blend. But you know, you might want to isolate them individually depending on your hair mineral analysis results. So we had the Magnesium oil with MSM. Now we have the pure magnesium oil, which you guys were kind of asking me for. You know, some of you said you were sensitive to sulfur and didn't want the MSM in it, which hasn't actually been selling. So I'm inclined to go look through my emails and see which one of you clowns asked me to make that. And then I'm gonna, you know, perhaps take a visit to your place and, uh, you know, I'll be a door to door magnesium oil salesman and make sure that I uh, deplete my inventory well enough. So Wi-Fi shielding stuff, we got the joggers, the pants, as well as the t-shirt that we just tested out, showed you guys that they reduced the radio frequency EMF to zero. Frankie's Naturals, kind of a mess, but we do have everything in stock. We got the moisturizing cream, deodorant, hair pomade, tooth powder, and lip balm. Water kefir is in stock as well, guys. We got pineapple, as well as apple lemon. Those are the two flavors we're gonna be doing for now that uh, I think are the tastiest as well as the least impactful on your liver. You know, sometimes like ginger lime and stuff is a little bit harder to digest. Overall, I'm pretty excited for the new products that we're gonna be having over the next few weeks, particularly the ground pork as well as, you know, fresher ground beef that are gonna kinda separate us from the rest of the uh, meat companies online. Legal stuff, legal issues. <laughs> I, mean, I could probably do a whole video on it. My lawyer basically dropped me last week on all the cases because we were arguing back and forth. The guy was kind of, you know, jerking me around and, and he didn't do some legal proceedings that I requested him to do. You know, I, I mean, I had the hunch that he was like siding with the opposition. They're all in the club. They're connected together, but it's whatever. It's just not really that big of a deal, but there's a few trial hearings I'm waiting for. So it's, it's going to be a few months before any of the cases progress. And if you guys are unfamiliar with that, we have rat boy suing me because he was a little upset his daddy couldn't help him with anything. And then we have my scumbag business partner 
who wants to buy another $1 million house in Westchester. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how those two go. Uh, as usual, I'm getting screwed around. Uh, you know, the whey protein order, I, I wired the money to transfer it to them. And they said it was going to be door-to-door -door shipping. And for some reason, they suddenly changed their mind saying, oh, no, we're only shipping to the port. So I'm going to be screwed out of another few thousand dollars. And then uh, for the uh, Wi-Fi shielding fabric, the silver fabric that I purchased, uh, I got hit with a UPS custom charge for clearance. I don't know why. There's, there's literally no reason for them to do that. And I'm out another few thousand dollars. So I'm basically broke. And as I've said over the past few weeks, I'm kind of hoping I'm going to get like one of the grants from the, the Build Back Better program. Uh, for the meat processing plants and if that doesn't happen, I, I swear to God 100% I'm just gonna go catch some venereal diseases from some Mexican girls and that's gonna be that because I guarantee you I'll make more money and I'll be happier than than doing this shit right now So as much as I, I really appreciate you guys supporting me these past few years and I enjoy what I'm doing with the businesses uh, You know e every week. It's something else. It, it's absolutely fucking insane that I'm, I'm killing myself down here every week with four employees in this shithole warehouse and my bank account's been the same every week. I, I've tried altering my prices with the vendor increases and that type of stuff, but I just, it, it's just not worth it, you know? It's just not worth it at this point. When, there, when there's so many bad people in this world and you try to do good, it's just, it's, it, I just feel like I'm wasting my time. I just, I literally feel like I'm wasting my time. So thank you guys for joining me today. You can check out frank com for all of my businesses. We have Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie's Free Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. If you guys are unfamiliar with any of them, just you know, check out the websites. There's a lot of interesting stuff. And if you guys aren't in the United States, you can probably find um, alternatives near you. If not, just you know, send me an email and maybe we can work something out with the shipping issue. Uh, so thanks again, guys, for joining me. And I will see you for tomorrow.